And so he, to... he's a mistake. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite Mexican Ranko here. Welcome to another episode of That's Enough Internet for today. Today, we're checking out another episode of Support Court. I've checked out a few episodes here on the channel already, but today we have a runaway mom. That's literally the title. So we should be expecting to see a piece of shit mom who abandoned her child. But enough talking about it. Let's watch. Yeah. Hey. Gang. Slack. Fire. Gang. What? What? All rise. Support court with Judge Von Deby is now in session. Hey, before this starts, I just want to give a big shout out to all my bald people watching. Judge's case number JBB1076, Paul Case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Mr. Paul. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you back. Good to see you. Okay. All right. And the last time you were here, we were here for your daughter. You had both her children, mm -hmm. okay? Who is this? This is my youngest daughter, Kayla, and we have her kids now, so we're trying to uh, somehow get some more income because she's not giving us really nothing. And we just- You we, all are just that great of grandparents? Your children want to leave we their children with yes, you? Well, they did such a good job raising me. They excuse might as me, well. Excuse me. Okay, I'm assuming that this is the deadbeat mom talking. And the translation of what she said was, you know, I'm such a shitty mom that I'm just going to leave my kids off at my parents' house because they did such a good job raising me. Well, that's debatable. Sounds like y'all need therapy court I'm instead of support court. jealous of her. That's what she said. Hmm. Is that why she? I, you went missing for a year and a half? Damn, mom's already busting shots. Cook mom! Listen, I was taking care of business. At 16? Yes. What kind of business at 16? Unfortunately, you don't want to know the answer. You know what? Let's, let's anyway, finish this business. Okay. Thank you, Judge. With the child. They all up in my business. Well, you started it. <clears throat> but I'm going to continue it from here, okay? I'm not going to lie. When watching these support court videos, I do like them, but there is a little bit of a childish undertone when watching it, like the sarcasm, the attitude, and shit like that. It's kind of immature, but that's kind of why I like it at the same time. Somebody needs to do some research and see if this is actually a court building. Like, I'm starting to think these people are just actors. All right. I believe she don't have Paul. any business since we have her child okay. living with us. How old is this child? What is he, six months now? Six months, yeah. Oh, it's a newborn. Yeah. Yes. You left your newborn baby with your parents? Every day. Well, I mean, people make mistakes. Yeah, good one. I'm going to murder 50 people and say that same exact thing. I walk outside the building and the cops are all pointing their guns at me. Hey, guys, guys. It, so, you know, people make mistakes. Why are you putting handcuffs on me? Let me go. Yeah, no, that was the dumbest excuse I've ever heard in my life. Mom leaves her newborn baby and just abandons him or her. And she's just out here going, ah, uh, you know, hey, could you really blame me? People do make mistakes. And so he, to... he's a mistake? Wow. You knew what you Pretty were much. doing. If I could take it back, I would, honestly. Holy shit, dog. Imagine being the child 10 years from now. He finds YouTube.com. He's like, oh, this is a pretty cool site. He stumbles across the Support Court YouTube channel. Hey, why do I see my mom in one of these thumbnails? Clicks the video. So he, to... he's a mistake? Wow. Yeah, no, on a real note, this mom is a piece of shit who abandons her child and is a deadbeat mother. And I really do feel bad for the kid in this situation. I don't know these people, but I still do feel bad just because of the fact that the mom is on a broadcasted court case that's being put out for hundreds of thousands of people to see saying, yeah, it was a mistake. Yeah, it seems like all you do is make mistakes. But if you can take what back? Really? Everything that's happened over the last year and a half. I'm just gonna tell you right now, everybody that's watching this video, if you ever hear somebody say, ah, I would go back to if I could, or ah, I wish I could just go back to the past, that is the ultimate cope for lack of accountability. They don't take any accountability for their actions. They're just out here reminiscing on the past and saying, oh, I wish I could have done it different. They don't apologize. They don't take accountability. It's just cope. It's retard cope. This mom had a whole child and abandoned it, then said, you know, people make mistakes, and if I could go back to that time, I would. 
your child is still existing in this world. Go raise it. So you were pregnant within the last year and a half. Are you speaking about taking that back? Yes, it was a mistake. People make mistakes all the time. Our grandchild is not a mistake, okay? I'm You're going right. to. I love I'm him. going to act like you did you not just him? say that. Hey, chat. I committed 33 counts of wire fraud and 47 counts of statutory. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but you know, people do make mistakes, and I think you should forgive me just for that reason. Yes. I'm going to Show act it. like you did not just say that. Wow. And we're going to move forward with what's going on today. Okay. The reality is, is that you have a six-month-old baby boy who you passed off to your parents, hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, if I was in that courtroom, so, okay, if I were the parents, bro, I'd be cussing out my daughter, no exceptions. That's like one of the worst things you can do as a human, abandoning your own child. Nobody looks at that and thinks of anything other than just, this person's a piece of shit, right? And even if you made a mistake, you're still gonna have to face the consequences. Let's say like some random person gets pregnant at 16 and she's like in a bad financial position and everything else. Bro, you have to buckle down and make it work or else your child is fucked, dog. I don't know how else to say it. It's kind of harsh, right? And teen pregnancy is one of the worst things that can happen to anybody. And it's like life ruining for some people. But that is, it is what it is. If you decided to go fuck around at 16 and now you're pregnant, then you got to reap the consequences. That's part of the reason why I hate hypersexualized culture. AKA the culture that we live in. Everybody's a fucking pervert now. And I don't doubt that it's increasing the rates of teen pregnancies. All right, so we're also gonna make you reimburse health insurance of $250. Excuse me? That bring, oh, did you not hear me? You want me to say it a little louder? It's $250 for a health insurance reimbursement, okay? Plus your child support obligation of $671. Yes. That brings monthly child support to $921. Okay, well, if I gotta pay that, I'm not coming around like. And you know what? And you know what? I missed something. I missed something because your parents, what? your parents asked for back pay. Hello. Cook pops. Back they asked, pay. They asked for back pay since the baby has been living with them. That comes out to five thousand five hundred and twenty-six dollars. And I'm going to have you reimburse that at $100 a month. Thank so you. that $921 plus an additional $100 comes out to $1,021 that you're going to be paying your parents every month. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. You're Even welcome. though I was, I was coming to visit him and stuff. One of the worst traits that a human can have is carelessness, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that in the sense of just not caring about your responsibilities, not caring about things you need to do, not caring about raising your own child. One linked trait to this is narcissism. I mean, I, listen, I'm not trying to be the TikToker that's like, oh, this is a narcissist, but... This girl definitely has an ego because she feels like she's too good to pay child support. She's too good to raise her own child. Yeah, drop the ego and drop the fucking weight while you're at it.